guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm following on from the little tab tops um, that I did a tutorial on. I was really excited to have, you know, found a way to actually make those. And following on from them, I just sort of came up with something that I thought that it would be fun to share with you guys. So basically, I've cut out a little, you know, tab top um, as per what we made in the tutorial. And all I'm going to do is make it into an altered paper clip. So if I just take a little piece of paper, so bear with me. So I'm just going to, you know, use this piece here, like this. And then obviously this is quite a, you know, smallish tab. So what I'm going to do is just take you know a small paper clip now I totally forgot when I mentioned paper clips the other day when we made some there are even smaller ones so these were the sort of regular size ones that I referred to as small ones but I mean you can actually get those even tinier ones so if you're making really small tabs you could obviously use the really small ones I'm just going to use what I would refer to as you know regular size um, paper clips and then all I'm going to do is basically take my piece of, you know, plain paper, just going to fold it over. Now I want it roughly the height, or, you know, yeah, the height basically of my tab piece. So if I just show you there, and I'm going to just cut that down. Let me just get rid of my bits to the bin. And then I need to take it in here so that it's no wider than, you know, this top part of the tab, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to cut that down here. Like that. So as you can see, it's, you know, overhanging a bit at the bottom. So I need to take it down just a little bit more further still. Okay. Okie dokie. Now what I'm going to do is cut my piece like that. So I've got two separate pieces. I could probably get away with it that way up actually now. And then what I'm going to do is thread. So these are two, sorry, these are two separate pieces now. Okay, so I'm going to stack them together whoops, and pop my paper clip over the two pieces. So like that. So my paper clip now is just clasping those two sections together. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I want to glue that inside my tab. And actually I do need to just trim that down slightly more at the edge. Because it was just showing slightly. So like that. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. So just check that it doesn't show. I mean, you can see that my tab is so small that that paper clip is still showing slightly beneath that. But that's fine because we can work with that. So all I'm going to do now is basically apply. I'm going to use hot glue because that's nice and instant, and you know I don't have to worry about it. Then it's it's glued. And all I'm going to do is apply the hot glue all around here. Now I need to be a little bit careful that I don't actually stick the two pieces together, you know, the two pieces of paper. So I need to concentrate more on the actual paper clip part and just go near to the edges. And I'm going to do that on both sides. So I'm going to just take my hot glue. I mean, you don't have to use hot glue. I personally just, you know, I like to use hot glue for things like this because it's just nice and fast. I don't have to worry then about it drying and things. It, you know, it dries pretty much instantly. And then I just pop that inside my little tab. Like that, you know, paper clip side in. Squash it together so it's, you know, held firm. And then you're going to have 
a little tab paper clip. So I might have actually inadvertently glued that together, which was exactly what I said that we didn't want to do. So you do have to be a bit careful that you're not putting too much glue on because obviously you can just glue that together pretty quickly. Right, there we go. <clears throat> so I'd obviously, you know, the glue had seeped out just a little bit at the corners. So that's it. Oops, there's obviously a bit of glue on this corner, which is, you know, causing a bit of resistance there. So, come on. And it helps because obviously your tab is not really paper clipped, you know, or glued together. You could go in at the corner and kind of then manoeuvre your way in. Now this worked perfectly in the one, <laughs> the one that I made as my prototype before coming on. And, you know, as usual, or as is often the case, you switch the camera on and then it doesn't work. Right, there we go. For some reason, I, yeah couldn't thread it through at first but anyway the first one I made make you know worked perfectly and there you've got your little tab paper clip so I just think they're so cute and obviously you could then have it hanging out a little bit you know you could clip a bunch of bunch of stuff on there with that how cute how cute are they so obviously if your paper clip is then hanging out beneath like mine is here which actually I've just got a teeny bit of paper as well there. There we go. All you can, do, or, you know, one of the things that you can do, all I would do is just cover it up a bit with some lace or something like that, or so maybe some paper or something. So I just thought they were really brilliant. So that's, um, you know, the first ones. And then another kind of idea for them, I thought using these larger paper clips. So again, I'm just going to pull in some more of the coffee dyed paper or you know this is thicker than paper this is sort of card basically and all I'm going to do is fold in a bit here like that I didn't really need to do all that but you know I can then make some more later so that's fine and then I'm just going to cut that down like that now I want this one obviously you know, approximately the size of my larger paper clip. So I know that's nowhere near the size, but these ones I haven't made before, can you tell? So I'm going to trim this down now. Like that. And then again, what we want to do is just make our tab shape at the top. Or oh, sorry, at the at the side. So I'm thinking, pop the paper clip in here for these ones. As I say, I haven't made these. Who knows? They may not work at all. But let's have a look and see. So again, I'm just putting my hole punch where I've marked those. Oops, mark those marks to do my, you know, as a guide. <clears throat> like that and then again what I'm going to do is just take my corner rounder I actually have found that I can round these ones off myself so I don't necessarily need to do that actually so I'll just round the bottoms pieces like that and you could go in and round these bits obviously it's a little bit fiddly because you've got you know excess there but so I'm just going to go in and round those like that okay and then you might want to round these bits as well just slightly you know so they're not quite so um what would the word be i don't know but you know, so they're not got sharp edges. I mean, not that they're sharp as in, oh, you're going to cut yourself, but you know what I mean. So they're a bit more aesthetically pleasing. And then what I thought we could do, now that's not going to work, is it? That's not going to work. 
well, I guess what we can do is make another just the same, but a large one. Sorry. <laughs> you know, kind of that's why you should really always try things out before coming on and doing a video, isn't it? But sometimes the ideas come and I try out one and then as I'm doing it, or as I'm, you know, setting up the stuff, another idea is already forming and I think, oh, that's, you know, I can do that as well. And then, of course, as we've seen here, it doesn't really then quite pan out as you hope. So, right, again, so I'm just going to cut that. So I've got my two separate pieces again. And again, I'm just going to clasp them inside the paper clip like that. And then I'm going to just sort of glue that in so it's clamped shut here. Okay, so... Again, I'm just going to take my hot glue gun go round near the edges but not, you know, not so you're going to clamp it shut, hopefully, although we did last time. And then again, I'm just going to go round this side. As I say, I mean, you don't have to do this with the hot glue. I just find you want something that's going to be pretty instant. And for me, you know, that normally means hot glue. So you can just press that down. As you can see, I've got a little corner of that paper poking out. So I'm just going to trim that off there. Like that. Hopefully that's all glued down nicely now. And again, if I just bring that in. And there's your little your tab paper clip so you've got a massive one there so yeah I mean obviously it didn't work quite as I had first thought. okay so we've got like a big one and a small one here so let's just have a look and see what we could do to just you know decorate them up so here I've got some of that sheet music or you know some sheet music and I talked before I mean I absolutely love like these little tiny bits you know like where it's got the copyright or where it's got the titles or you know the price and things like that I love how those things look. So I just thought I'm going to just decorate them up with a couple of those types of things. So just chopping that down. Oops. So the big one probably is better for this one because that might, well, might be okay. Let's just tear it down. And again, I mean, I just like to tear things, but course you know if you prefer to cut stuff that's fine too so I'm just going to pop that on there and then may like to put something else on there maybe like some doily or something oops I should have left that long let me just see if I've got any more doily oh isn't this annoying you sometimes just do things and instantly even as you're doing them you're like why am I doing that it's now going to use up you know what I didn't want to use up hold on well I've got some sheet music I wonder if we could pop that there oh that's a bit strange isn't it that's a bit strange I find well unless we have that and then I wonder if we could just decorate that with a little bit of lace whether that would look less less peculiar oh yeah that's a bit better isn't it right so let's just glue this down Again, I'm just going to tear that slightly smaller. But I don't mind if it's going to be hanging off a little bit. I think that's quite nice to have a bit of overhang. So again, I'll just glue this with my wet glue. Obviously, don't forget, I have got that, um, you know, the paper clip inside there now. So it's going to be a little bit lumpy and bumpy. So I probably should have glued that first, you know, decorated it up first because then it wouldn't have been lumpy to be sticking things on. Okay, and then just going to have this piece just there on the top. Oops, it's stuck on me now with the hot glue, hot glue thread. So again, just go around there. Okie doke, and pop that down. Okay, so like that. And then just 
move that about a bit. I'm just going to trim this piece because although I don't mind it hanging at the bottom, I'm not so keen on this, you know, where this nook, nook, notch, where that bit is anyway. So that's those and then I'm going to ink them up. This is where I find my inks, not here. Hold on. Gosh, I feel like this has been the most stop start video I've ever done. I seem to have stopped it and started it numerous times. So we just ink all of this up, which will hopefully, you know, blend it all in a little bit better. Okay, and then we can just sort of finish that off with a little bit of lace. Do we like that piece there? Do we want it going right the way across or just, just a little bit actually? Looks really nice. So let's just chop that down. Okay. I'm just going to have that there, like that. I'll stick that on with my three in one. Oops, let me just take that top bit of glue off that's, you know, just left on the nozzle there. Okay. Okie dokie, pop that down like that. Just mop, whoops, mop any excess glue up like that and then of course of course let's have some bling because wow why wouldn't we oh I'm so sorry <laughs> just can't help to have a bit of bling oh just honestly what what is it with me and the bling I don't know I just think look I mean put that bling on I'll take it off put it back Oh wow, I just love it so much with the bling. I don't know what it is about that, but it just adds to every single thing, doesn't it? I just love it. So that's that little tab. Love how that looks. And of course, you've got the back of that that you could then decorate up as well. So again, let's just, I had another piece of sheet music you know, torn piece. Oh my gosh, what have I done with that now? Here, it's here. Okay, so we could pop that one down there and we just need something now for the top. I mean, again, I'm just kind of like rummaging around seeing what I've got here, but, you know, I'm not obviously paying really any attention to, to what I'm sticking down. So, you know, I'm sure that they could look a lot better than this, but... Having said that, I mean, I don't think they've come out too badly, so. So again, we'll just glue this down. Like that. Okay. Just pop that on there. Like that. And then pop this one on, like over there, I think. So it's like to the side and, you know, higher up. And then we'll just decide whether we do want anything on here in the way of lace or anything like that. So we'll put it a bit higher up and it's like flush with the side there. And again, we'll just ink that up. Just then tones it all in. Now, do we want anything on the bottom of this one or are we happy with it as it's? got this little bit of lace here oh that's really nice isn't it just so it's like looking a bit different really to the to the other side so oops okay so I'm just going to apply some glue here and then we'll just glue this one down check I've got it the right way up Okay, I mean again this was just like a little scrappy piece laying around on my desk and um, <laughs> it just happened to be kind of right in my eye line. But how cute does that look? And I quite like, you know, it not being straight, that's not worrying me. So I'm just going to cut that down there. So I'm going to clamp that shut just with a little bulldog clip just while I wait for that to dry. 
and whilst we wait for that to dry I'll just decorate the smaller ones slightly and I mean of course these are perfectly fine to leave bare you know you don't have to decorate them up at all um, you know I mean I just think it's fun decorating but don't feel that you have to because I think they look perfectly nice as they are I don't think they need decorating as such so we'll just pop that piece of doily on there like that and again I'm just going to get rid of that piece at the corner oh. okay and then have we got a word or anything that we could put up here these they're probably a little bit on the small side but again I mean I'm just grabbing what's in what's in sight <laughs> what's in reaching different distance on my desk so um it may be that these are not the ideal the ideal pieces really oops just put oh my gosh look it's just attached with glue threads all over the place right let's just ink that up so we'll have that there so I just think around kind of more on the edge really and I'll just do the other side like that okay we'll just pop that on there like that okay so I mean hopefully you can see that it's it's quite tiny on there but hopefully that's visible to you guys and again I mean I wonder if I could just use the rest of this because it gets it just off of my desk then and completely finished or I could just have this on the other side well perhaps I just have that on the other side actually yay I have a, a piece of scrap gone from my desk Again, just checking what's right side and wrong side on there so I mean as you can see they don't even really need anything this is just literally a piece of lace on a bare tab but oops well it will be when it sticks let's just hold it in place for a couple of minutes you know I mean of course you could put things on there but I will leave that now so let me just switch my bulldog clip from that one to this one just for a minute and I will just pull in a piece of paper okay so just to demonstrate how they would look so you would just take the large one first and show you I mean obviously this is not a junk journal page this is a tiny little piece but that's how it would be on the edge of your page and I mean obviously this is a great big one so it's far too big for this um, little piece but I just love them and um, they're really nice to touch as well I always like something that's a little bit nice to hold so I'm just gonna hot glue this piece of lace down because um, it's just sticking up a little bit too much for my liking there we go that's a bit better um, where have I put the other one and then this is the smaller one so again just to demonstrate how this would look This is where I end up peeling that lace off completely. Okay. So probably to clip them on, it helps to go at the corner and then sort of slide them in. So that's that one. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, you can see the little tail of the paper clip. Personally, I mean, I don't mind that. I think that looks fine anyway. But if you did, again, just cover it up with, you know, a little piece of lace or you know a word or a butterfly or something just overhanging slightly in fact let's just don't know whether I'm going to be able to overhang it here but maybe not because it will be all all of my pieces running in the so well it doesn't look too bad let's just do that so we'll just pop that down like that 
Okay. Oops. So, I mean, that now covers up that um, paper clip completely and, you know, it's no longer visible. So, yeah, I just love them. And I was just really excited to come along and do a tutorial because um, I just thought they're really quick, they're really easy and they're just so lovely. And I love, love, love how they feel. Um, so, yeah, I hope that you give some a go and um, hope you like them. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you soon. Thanks then. Bye.